Hi everyone, I just want to share with you these websites I've been using recently. I've been introduced to these by a few people in the industry, so I can't take credit for finding these, but they're great resources and I want to share them with you today. Land Insight is quite costly, um, but this, these are good tools for um, finding opportunities, commercial, residential, and development opportunities. Uh, so let me show you how these work in more detail. Uh, but just quick point, Land Insight has a quite a healthy cost to it each month, so you've got to determine if that's going to be worthwhile to you or not. Um, but I found a, an, another free one, again recommended by somebody in the industry. This one's called Nimbus Maps. Okay, um, this is a fantastic resource, very similar to Land Insight. Okay, so let me show you how this works. So you want to go ahead, log in, and create a free account. And when you're in, you'll, this will look something like this. So what you want to do is put your location in. And that could be, uh, let's go for Liverpool. And it, zoom in to some areas of interest to yourself. Okay, so this is city centre of Liverpool. And it's come up with commercial units. So what it does, as you can see with the red line, is it segments each boundary line, which makes it very easy for us to determine opportunities, analyse some of these deals, and spot some things that you can't spot on, say, um, Google Satellite View, because the tools you've got here, whilst it's very similar to Google um, Satellite View, and you can spot opportunities, it doesn't do what this does. So let me show you if we take this plot here and click on it. It comes up with the address and title, register details, and you can actually go ahead and buy the title and download it directly from this site. So it's a fantastic resource all in one place. Um, if you upgrade to the essentials, you get access to the measurements where it actually measures the site for you so you can work out your gross development value and things like that. So it's a really good piece of kit. So we're analysing a deal at the moment, so let me go ahead and show you. We've got it all secured, so I don't mind sharing it with you. Bear with me a moment. So if you've got an address in mind, you can go straight to that address and it's highlighted in blue. By the way, the ones with the U are unregistered lots, so they've not been registered with land registry. So again, there may well be some opportunities for you to be able to claim some of this land or the properties because they've not been registered. Obviously, I'm not going to be touching on that today but just showing you how this works really. So the property, what we can do is you can drag this little man onto the street of where, just to confirm you're in the right area. And you can see an opportunity there. Um, derelict building, and I've been there recently, so and it is still derelict. It's got some scaffolding up, so maybe some um, structural work being done to it but it'd be worth contacting the owners to see if they want to do some kind of JV. Property we're talking about, and we've secured is this one here. And um, so we'll go zoom back out. And what we can do is we can click, it should be this one. No, not that one. Okay, well it's one of these along here anyway, so we, 17, okay, so we can, what we can do is you can click on some of these features, so it gives you certain reports, again you have to pay for these, but link straight in with the land registry, so you can find out who the owners are, and you can contact them by sending them a direct mail piece. Now remember, uh, at the time of 
right in this we're not subject to GDPR at the moment but when it kicks in as, as of the 25th of May remember when you're writing letters to people so you don't breach GDPR leave their name off because you will have access to it through the title register but if you leave their name off and you just send them a, a written letter with no name on you, you'll be okay from the GDR, GDPR perspective okay so just remember just, just to keep their name off and it just keeps you on the legal straight and narrow then okay so you can spot opportunities by going around the area you can look for gaps in buildings and see if there's you know potential for a development opportunity uh, you can also contact some uh, you know the popular thing right now is care homes so you can click on something that might be a care home and you can contact them and see if they're interested in selling it they make very good sites for apartment buildings and you know developments so you can source those types of deals using this website really again there's some of those unregistered titles there so you can uh, if your strategy might be to contact those people so again it depends on your strategy but you can make use of this website and uh, contact owners and it allows you to do some great research and due diligence again I'm not really scratching the surface with this at the moment I've just been introduced to it so we're just checking out some properties that um, we have access to but there's all kinds of filters uh, you can search for companies and uh, obviously location punch in there so I'm sure you'll get some use from this so go ahead and use it in your property business when you're sourcing in an area and you'll be able to spot some opportunities where you can market to some sellers okay I hope this video helps